In this video, we'll be looking at the basics of entering serial numbers into Tamarin. Serial numbers can either be standalone or part of one or more moves. We'll talk more about moves in our next video. For now, let's start with adding serial numbers as they are. Start by going into Add Serial Only in the menu. You'll be directed to a form asking you to enter the product information for the serial numbers you're about to enter. Let's start with entering some serials for a backpack. The Brands field is a searchable dropdown of all the brands available in the system. You can also create a brand by simply typing it in. Now let's start by putting in some serial numbers. The standard way is just to start typing or scanning serial numbers using the Scan Individually tab. I can scan in one serial number or multiple serial numbers. What I can also do is scan or type in a starting serial and an ending serial to cover a range of different serial numbers. In this example, I'm covering a range of 100 serial numbers between these two patterns. Of course, when you're using this method, there must be a common pattern in the front of the serial numbers. The last way of entering serial numbers is a popular one, where users copy and paste serial numbers directly. The issue with copying and pasting a lot of times is that you copy unwanted text. Tamarin has a useful exclusions feature to ignore these extra text. These exclusions get saved so that you won't have to specify them again in the future. I've prepared some serials to be copied that also contain text to be excluded. As you can see, it doesn't matter whether serial numbers are separated by commas, spaces, tabs, or new lines. Now that we've prepared all the serial numbers for this product, we can add them. Please note that serial numbers are not actually saved into the system until you click Add Serials. Now that we've added the serial numbers, we can add another product if we really wanted to. If we try to add in the serial number that we just added before, we'll get an error. Next, we'll edit one of the serial numbers we just entered. Let's amend the product name and brand. All modifications on the serial number are logged so that you can always track who made the changes and exactly when. They will appear next time we visit the serial number. We'll finish off with a quick tip about the history menu inside Tamarin. Every time you go into a serial number, move or brand, Tamarin will add it to your history so that you can easily go back to it. You can have up to six items in your history. That's all for this video. Hope you found it helpful.